What is going on, guys? It's your boy, <clears throat> Jaw Dunlap here. Back at you guys with some more WWE 2K20 My Career Mode. And as you see on the right hand side of your screen, <clears throat> is that um, I upgraded my my player some more. I upgraded Joel to 68 overall. He was 67 and I upgraded Rebecca to 64 and she was, <coughs> sorry guys, 63. But yeah, I upgraded them some more. I basically always, you know, upgrade them, you know, for, you know, start recording. But, you know, so we won't have to see that. But all the support that you drop on the series, big love to it. And if you have been enjoying, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. And I love you guys. And without further ado, here we go. Alright, drive to high school show. Here we go. So what happens if your parents show up tonight? First of all, as far as I'm concerned, they're not even really my parents anymore. But if they did show up, then security can deal with it. I'm not gonna let anyone pick and choose when they want to have my back, especially now that I'm having a little bit of success. But you haven't talked to them since Calgary, which was like four years ago. Maybe it's time you give them another chance. Another chance to tell me I'm wasting my life and that I'm never gonna make it? Sorry, I don't need that. Besides, I paid them back their money, so the way I see it, we have nothing to discuss. Hey, I'm not shelling out an extra 20 bucks so you two can have a therapy session. I handed her the wrench, if that counts. Also, were you listening to our entire conversation? Hey, I get it. We've all got drama in our lives. I mean, look at me. Last year, I put on a mask and attacked my former protege, Buzz, costing him a shot at WWE. Then he wouldn't return my phone calls or texts for like a year. No one wanted to work with me, and BCW folded. But... Then I stuck up for Buzz to AJ Styles. And the next thing you know, I'm in Buzz's corner at WrestleMania, and now I'm in the process of rebuilding BCW. That's a lot of very specific information. Yeah. What's your point? My point is, I turn chicken crap into chicken salad. And that's what I can do for you two if you sign exclusively Exclusive deals with me and become cornerstones of the new B C W. Sign with Baron Blade and BCW reject his offer. Hmm. I'll sign with him. We actually have been looking for some more stability. And putting aside all that attacking your protege stuff. You seem like a real stand-up guy, so we're in. Great! I promise you won't regret <coughs> this. Oh, sorry, guys. Excuse me. All right, guys. Ten years later. Sorry I'm late. Two old-timers got in a fight over who called bingo first, and I had to step in. But Marco said if I keep settling disputes without anyone breaking a hip, then he's going to let me call the numbers next Tuesday morning. That's great. How's the house looking tonight? I think we might get 10 people, which includes two comps I left for some nice ladies from Bingo, but still not bad. By the way, pretty sweet the school let us use your office as a locker room. What's wrong? Let's see. You're a Bingo Hall security guard, I'm a part-time janitor at our old high school, and we're about to wrestle in front of 10 people. Actually, the bingo ladies just canceled, so it's eight now. Apparently, there's a ventriloquist at their senior complex tonight. That does sound better than this. We were on the path to success. We were gonna make it to WWE and achieve all these goals, and maybe even end up in the Hall of Fame someday. But then we signed with Baron Blade, and he ruined everything. Now all we have is a meaningless piece of paper that's just a constant reminder of how crappy our lives are. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm up for a promotion, and I'm going to see a ventriloquist. You're bailing on the show? Yeah, if the entire crowd could have carpooled together, it's probably not worth it. 
Anyway, you just need to give up on all those dreams and then you'll feel a lot better about how things turned out. It worked for me. Man, how do they do that? Dang, look at that crowd though. They did say there were gonna be eight people here. But here comes Rebecca. It doesn't matter how many people are here. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't matter how many people are here, you know, the capacity crowd. And that there are only eight people there. Rebecca is still going to put on a fight. And Rebecca in the past has beaten former WWE legend and a WWE superstar. Two WWE superstars. Yeah, you cannot... <coughs> You cannot take Rebecca lightly. You can never <clears throat> take Rebecca lightly. Here we go. And here comes Rebecca's opponent. Oh, uh, here comes her opponent. <clears throat> oh, I don't know how you say it, but Josie Jane. Yeah, here comes Josie Jane to the ring. Josie Jane and Almago, the two who beat them in an empty <clears throat> in an empty gym before. Well, we are basically in a gym with only eight people, but here we go. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, and a big flying elbow from Rebecca and a big forearm. A big kick to the midsection. Now it's holding you down to one knee and now a big... DDT playing her down to the mat. And now rip, whipped off the ropes and now a big back body drop by Rebecca. And now Rebecca planting Josie Jane down to the mat. And now Jane trying to I know you've seen we group on the Josie apron, Jane but it's not going to work. Times, With a big German because, well, suplex by Rebecca off the apron. Piece of advice. And now Read Rebecca tossing people. Josie Jane into the apron. Now back inside the ring. Rebecca is not going to let Jane beat her again. The first I victory she got over Rebecca tonight. was in a tag team like match and it wasn't well, her fault that they lost. But this time, that. there's, you know, this is a one on one match, so this should be not hard. And now, oh man, Jane! With a big strike to the face. And now trying to cover Rebecca. One. And Rebecca kicks out at one. Hey, oh, and she this misses the kick. And oh, running neck breaker. Taking Josie job, Jane down to the mat. For those of you who don't know, now Red Rebecca Moonlight trying to pick apart Josie Jane. And now dropping her on the top rope. 
And now Rebecca. With a big, oh, driving her down to the mat. Now what is Rebecca looking to do here? Oh, and here Please we go. Oh, driving her down to the end of neck breaker to Jane. And now Rebecca looking to put toxic mold Jane away hobo attack. with the stunner. Cover, is that it? One, two, three. What? How did she kick out of that? Look at the expression on Rebecca's face. Who needs WWE with their fancy A look of shock. Jane kicking out at two from the stunning. Right, and now driving Jane to the mat. Rebecca is not playing around. <clears throat> she came to oh. She came to beat butt. Oh, and a big kick to the midsection and a Next big punch. Show is gonna feature the return now again BCW dropping her on Paul the top Lynn. rope. And now, and looks completely different now going up to the second rope, really Rebecca. Him, oh, not just what was that? <laughs> completely missed with the knee. But that's okay. Because... Oh, he hit her with a big suplex, taking her down to the mat. Yeah, and it doesn't even matter Remember how many BCW people are here or not. Rebecca still going to kick James' butt. Shows and we were invading NXT. <laughs> Those were the oh, days. man. Throwing not her into the barricade. And now... What is Rebecca doing? Three. Again, she cannot get disqualified like the other match. She couldn't get disqualified. Come on, Red. I know nothing. Because that wouldn't go in the like favor at all. Would, and you're miserable. She but wants to win like you wanna be by here. pinfall or submission. <clears throat> But now again, driving her down to the end. Oh, big neck breaker. And now, Rebecca's fired up, looking to go for the stunner again, taking Jane down. That has to be it. Lights out one, two, three, and that puts Jane away. Rebecca, the people. That she's not somebody to take lightly. And there you see the stunner. There on the replays what put her away. The stunner is what put Jane away. Another win for Rebecca. Beating Jane, the one who got a win over her in a tag team match, and it wasn't her fault. But now, Rebecca got payback here with a victory over Jane. My point is, I turned chicken crap into chicken salad. And that's what I can do for you two if you sign exclusive deals with me and become cornerstones of the new BCW. <laughs> um, no thanks. Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Your loss. <laughs> because FYI. I am this close to getting Cole Quinn on board. <laughs> Big things are happening. Hey, speak of the handsome devil. Let's go talk numbers, shall we? Uh, that, 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 slow your roll, Greeny. <laughs> this guy. I feel like we really dodged a bullet there. More like a cannonball. That guy's a total nightmare. And here comes another one. What is she doing here? 
Holy crap, is that hothead red and tray? You two picking up some extra work to make your trailer payments, or is this some kind of prison work release program? It's just red now, and we're wrestling tonight. And also, we don't live in trailers. We stay in hotel rooms that have microwaves, which seemed a lot more impressive before I said it. Wait, you actually became pro wrestlers? <laughs> And I get to see your uncoordinated bodies flop around this ring tonight? <laughs> She's got good lungs. Of course I do. I'm an elite MMA competitor. If you haven't heard, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun, is undefeated. More like American Zero. What's that? Nothing. You realize Kurt Angle's already known as the American hero, right? You probably should ask him for permission to use his nickname like Ronda Rousey did with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Kurt Ankle? Never heard of him. If anything, he should ask me permission to use my name since I'm way more famous. I'll chat with my lawyer about it. Thanks for the heads up. Why are you here? You're obviously not a pro wrestling fan. No. Gross. There's a ceremony after your stupid show to rename the gym in my honor. The town sign wasn't enough? It wasn't. I actually wanted it bigger. Couldn't you have picked any other night to do this? Do you think I chose to share my special night with a professional wrestling event? That'd be like eating a giant bowl of turd soup before having the best steak of your life. I have a loaded schedule and tonight was my only avail. And how much longer would it have taken to say availability? I told you, I'm busy. Every second counts. I've already wasted way too much time talking to you carnies. I'll have you know, we've wrestled at several carnivals and their employees are some of the finest people around. Other than that tilt-a-whirl operator who bit me when I asked him what time it was. There's always exceptions. Cool story. Looking forward to seeing you tap again tonight, Red. You know, just like old times. Whoa, 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 whoa. You could kill someone with that. I know, that's the point. Don't let her get under your skin and ruin our night. We'll do our thing, and then she can do her stupid gym dedication. It'll be totally separate. I'm sure we won't even notice her. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes your boy Joel to the ring. And he's ready to fight. He is looking ready than ever. And Rebecca beat Jane, the one who she lost to in a tag team match, but got revenge in a one-on-one -on -one match, beating Jane. But now, Joel in action. And here comes Cole Quinn. Cole Quinn heading to the ring and he does not know what he has at the task of hand facing Joel here tonight yeah he does not know what he has at the task of hand here Joel has defeated a former WWE. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Joel has been a former, beaten a former WWE legend before in Jerry the King Lawler. Yeah, so you cannot take Joel lightly. He can beat you within a minute. All right, here we go. Big clothesline by a Joel. For you. I'm currently in negotiations and now with Cole a Quinn double axe handle from the second row. <coughs> in fact, I bet he'll sign on the and now dropping Cole down to the mat. 
And now Joel going up to the second rope again. Oh man, what an elbow to the head of Cole Quinn. BCW is on its way back. And in the corner, a I mean, big clothesline taking down Cole Quinn. But I know and this now, Joel, big hip word, toss taking man. down Joel. I mean, not Joel, Cole. Cole Quinn. And a big Samoan drop taking down Quinn. I got a call from Buzz big punch, but Quinn reverses with a big leg takedown. But Joel back up to his That's feet with a big clothesline. And now again, Joel taking down Quinn to the mat and now stomping away. Now Joel big punch to, to the face, but oh, Quinn reverses with a chop. Tonight. Oh, he catches and his foot. Oh, and a knee to the foot. The knee. And now a big Samoan drop, taking Quinn down to the mat. Now Joel, oh, big elbow to the midsection of Quinn. Big punch and a chop. Oh man, those brutal strikes by Joel. Joel is fired up on all cylinders with a big German suplex. And now a clothesline taking him inside out. And now Joel looking to put Quinn away with the rock bottom. I think Quinn might be out. Cover one, two, th oh my goodness. Quinn is not down for the count. Quinn looks like he still has Make some sure fight left in him. Those booty strikes. And now dropping him on the top row. Now big punch, big forearm. Those brutal strikes to the face. Now backbreaker taking Cole Quinn to the mat. Big punch to the face, big chop. And now a big punch to the face of Cole Quinn. Congrats again on your big homecoming show, Red and Trey. And now, oh man, there goes Quinn out of the ring. <clears throat> and now Joel is signaling Quinn to get up. On a big kick. Now double axe handle taking down Quinn. Joel looking to pick apart Quinn bit by bit. Now whip to the barricade and those big brutal fists to Quinn. And now Joel getting inside the ring. The referee with the count. The referee on the count of four. And Quinn looking to work his way back up to his feet on Quinn back inside the Just ring a reminder to but he got caught with a, for a big German suplex taking Quinn down to his feet oh uh, now what is Joel look to do Ron here Ron. oh big gut rich power bomb taking BCW. Quinn down well, now Joel big German suplex turned into a big clothesline taking him inside out and now two might need to settle their differences <clears throat> rock the bottom good night the ball game one sure two three and there goes Cole Quinn Joel has beaten Cole Quinn that was basically just a. That was basically just punishing Cole Quinn. Joel with a big win here.
in this match. Uh, here comes Rebecca to the ring. Rebecca just beating Josie Jane in the last match. And now heading down to the ring. Looking to get another win to her name. Yeah, Re Rebecca's ready to go. Rebecca is ready to fight here tonight in this match. Now heading down to the ring is Jane again? We have the same opponent from last time? Why won't she go away? She's asking for seconds, huh? Well, Jane, ready? get ready to get your butt kicked again. Because you finna get your booty whooped, son. We are not playing games here. We are going to beat the holy crap out of Jane just like we did last time. And we are going to not make her want to come back for seconds. Here we go. Get Josie Jane to Red House. Oh, this time we have an objective this time. <coughs> big kick to the midsection. Big kick to another big kick. Now a big hurricane runner taking down Jane. Big kick Everyone to the midsection. And just now to the all again. And driving Jane down to the mat. And now those big. And now n punching her into the midsection. And now big stomp. And now slamming Jane down to the mat. This match is already starting to get off to a good start. And now Jane with a kick to the midsection. Oh, Rebecca reverses with a big flying forearm. And now what is Rebecca looking to do? Oh, and a big knee to the midsection. And now big fist to the midsection. Oh, kick. Flying neck breaker. You could say I know how oh, there you go. Fun is standing straight. I did not see that. Are you serious? Is Von Braun? If you want to keep running your mouth, then come over here and do it to my face. Stupid. She's so stupid. Excuse me for trying to entertain these people. Because you Go certainly away. weren't. Red Axe so tough, but the moment you get her in a submission hold, she gives up immediately. Go away, you in big fact, head punk. She's been tapped more than shoulders. <laughs> On Jane. From behind roll. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Yes, Jane still won. Because of the distraction of all, from Von Braun. Now we can move on to the real reason everyone's here. The renaming of the gym in my honor. Josie Jane picking up the win over Rebecca with a roll-up victory. Being in this gym brings back so many memories. 
I won my first amateur match Nev here. Von Braun I broke in barriers the ring. and records here as the captain of the otherwise all-male wrestling team. I qualified for states here. I dominated gym class dodgeball here. I won prom and homecoming queen here. I once saved Mr. Durkis from choking on a hot dog here. The banner actually isn't that bad. I was expecting something more obnoxious. I know, me too. So that's why it's my pleasure to officially christen this the Brooklyn Von Braun Gymnasium for Athletic Excellence. That looks tacky and ugly. Isn't it amazing? I want to thank the school board for cutting nope, the music program to help amazing. fund this. Totally worth it. I'm confused. Did she go it's to space trash. before or after she was Pope? I think I'm going to throw up. Aim towards the mural if you can. <laughs> Being in this gym brings back so many memories. I won my first amateur match Nev here. Von Braun I broke in barriers the and records here as the captain of the otherwise all-male wrestling team. I qualified for states here. I dominated gym class dodgeball here. I won prom and homecoming queen here. I once saved Mr. Durkis from choking on a hot dog here. The banner actually isn't that bad. I was expecting something more obnoxious. I know, me too. So that's why it's my pleasure to officially christen this the Brooklyn Von Braun Gymnasium for Athletic Excellence. That looks tacky and ugly. Isn't it amazing? I want to thank the school board for cutting nope, the music program to help amazing. fund this. Totally worth it. I'm confused. Did she go it's to space trash. before or after she was Pope? I think I'm going to throw up. Aim towards the mural if you can. <laughs> I can't believe we got totally upstaged and embarrassed by Brooklyn. Not much has changed. I know. We've come a long way, but it still feels like we're the same losers who used to sit at this table back in high school. At least my parents didn't show up and make a scene. Hey, I was thinking, maybe I should try to track down my real parents. They sent that letter back in high school, so maybe there's still hope with them. I I've actually been meaning to talk to you about that letter. What about it? Sorry. Um, anyway. Uh, it's an Orlando number. Take it. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Yeah, it's a good time to talk. It's Sarah Motto from NXT. Oh. I got your number from Xbox. He saw you on a show in LA a couple years ago and said you were great. Oh, yeah, that was the same night he put my friend in a diaper. What? Never mind. Had to be there. Anyways, the reason I'm calling is to see if you'd like to compete in the third annual May Young Classic. What? This boy fell out of his chair. That was kind of fun. May Young Classic. Great, we'll be in touch. They are so excited. And congratulations, being included in this tournament is a huge accomplishment. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Let's Man, go. This night wasn't so bad after I all. Know. After I missed out on the first Mayon Classic and then didn't hear anything last year, I thought I'd never get another shot. But it's happening, and I'm not going to settle for just being included. I'm going to win the whole damn thing. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> we should celebrate. By throwing rocks at Brooklyn's stupid face. That might be a bit extreme. I mean, what size rocks are we talking? I meant her face on the sign coming into town. Oh, yeah, yeah, that seems slightly more reasonable. Hey, hey, what did you want to tell me about the letter? Oh, um, never mind. It's not important. Besides, there's a sign that needs vandalizing, remember? True. I'll go round up some good throwing rocks. That's a great idea. I'll meet you at the car in a minute. Cool. Whoa, that's a shock. He's always wanted to meet his birth parents, and now that we know what happened, what are we going to say when he asks about them? What the uh, heck? I really don't think he can handle the truth that they're dead. Do you? No. No, it would crush him. But what's the alternative, honey? Just let him believe they're still out there somewhere and they don't care enough to ever contact him? I, I, I don't know. I, I wish... There was a way to keep his hope alive, but not hurt him. Me too. You've probably asked yourself a million times why. 
Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did. But we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we what didn't feel heck? we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams, no matter what they might be. To become anything you want. We'll find you someday. Love always, Mom and Dad. Please, don't tell him our secret about the letter. It's not going to help anything. Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, sorry. Let's do this. Alrighty, guys. So I am going to leave it right here, guys. <clears throat> and that concludes chapter six. And there are the achievements or rewards that we got on the right hand side. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave this video a like and subscribe for more. And <clears throat> I love all the support that you guys drop on this series. And I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.